Welcome to today's Willpower Moment. I'm Dr. Machino. You know, our topic today is uncluttering your environment. You know, one of the hardest things for people to do is to stick with their exercise goals and their exercise program and to adhere to healthier eating habits they intend to follow. The truth is that it actually takes extra energy to succeed with these things if you're not used to it. Not just physical energy, but more importantly, mental energy. You know, in most cases of failure, it's primarily mental fatigue that holds people back from succeeding. You know, it's that state of feeling overwhelmed that triggers the return to eating comfort foods and not being able to find the energy to exercise. I'm too tired to exercise. It's not physical t fatigue, it's usually mental. Then you're convinced that you can't do it because you've got all this fatigue that's in front of you. You know, one of the, one of the key ways to find the extra energy to succeed is to unclutter your environment. You know, if there's a mountain of papers and folders on your desk, on your dining room table, on the floor in the den, if your countertops are full of packaged goods and bowls and things that belong in the cupboard, if your closet is disorganized in a state of disarray, if your bed's unmade, if your dresser top is full of business cards and trinkets and watches and coins and lotions and potions that you never use, believe it or not, just the sight of these things every day depletes your mental energy and can exhaust you. It makes you feel too tired to exercise and looking at it triggers the return to eating comfort foods just to ease the anxiety of staring at the mess and chaos that's in front of you. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. So uncluttering mentally gives you a new start. It clears the slate. It makes you feel less overwhelmed so you can add new wellness behaviors without it feeling overwhelming. It helps to boost feelings of self-control and self-command, which strengthens your ability to start new wellness habits and stay with it. You know, it's really like pushing the restart button in your mind, allowing you to add positive things without being anchored to the chaos and sorting out the past. So once you set your wellness goals on the Machino platform, one of the first things I'd like you to do to ensure that you stick with the program now is to unclutter your environment. Get the fresh start. Clear the slate. Clear the surface areas. Clear your desk. Put things away. Get rid of things that don't work anymore. Things you don't use. Make your bed. Clean out your car. Get rid of old magazines, newspapers, catalogs, shopping bags. Don't keep newspapers overnight and use the one minute rule. If you can do something in one minute or less, then do it. Put clothes in the hamper, dishes in the sink, items back in the cupboard, clean your car. Don't leave dirty coffee cups uh, on your desk overnight, uh, get rid of old post-it notes, file business cards. When you do it, for most people, it gives them a lift. It gives them that mental inspiration that they're on track, that they need to get started with new wellness goals and sustain them. It's that feeling of the fresh start that we're really after here. It, it, and getting rid of all these things removes the major visual anchor that causes mental fatigue that holds so many people back. It'll really help you find the extra energy you need each day to succeed with your wellness habits and make you feel good about yourself. So good luck with your wellness goals and thanks for watching.